Hello, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use my CKP materials in a CKP web or BNC web environment. My tutorial, the cheat sheet and the practical guide were specifically designed for the use of CKP in a command line interface, not a browser. But you can use the query language tutorial for a browser version of a CKP corpus. So when you are in a CKP web environment, such as the one that we have at the English department in Zurich, or if you are at the one in Lancaster, the Lancaster server, what you normally have in a web browser version is that you have your search fields up here where you enter your query. The browser version of CKP gives you the option to formulate this query either in the simple query language or in the CKP language. So that's this query mode here, simple language or the CKP. So if you want to follow my tutorial, you need to do two things. Always make sure to set the query mode to CQP syntax. Otherwise you'll get an error message because the server cannot process your query. But once this is set, you can formulate uh, a query. So here I'm looking for the lemma cause as a verb followed by a noun. Notice that in the BNC web edition, we need to use HW for the lemma. So that doesn't work with lemma. And if you use that in the spoken BNC version, it's a different corpus, but if you use head word um, and set CQP syntax, then you will not get a result. Why is that? Because it tells you that HW is neither positional or structural attribute in this corpus. However, notice that if you set the CQP syntax or the query mode to CQP syntax, you see um, some documentation of what the P attributes are in that corpus. And we see here it's lemma, not head word. So if we change that to lemma and start our query, we get a result. Okay, so notice that this is something that you have to know about uh, the technicality or the technical background of your corpus. Some other functions that I illustrate in the tutorials, such as counting results or accessing meta information work differently in the browser versions, but you can consult a number of other online tutorials for CQP web or BNC web. Also note that I'm primarily using the BNC baby in the tutorial, which is a 4 million word subset of the full 100 million words BNC. But this one that we have at the ES is identical to the one I'm using in my local environment. For the query language tutorial, the episodes 1, 4, 5 and 6 are very easy to follow if you are in a browse environment. And from the cheat sheet, you will find the sections B1 and B2 particularly helpful for a quick reference of the CQP uh, syntax. So the cheat sheet is meant as a refresher once you have understood the basic idea of the CQP query language. At the end of that document, you will find a very helpful list of part of speech tagging for the BNC. And you will also find some reference for the meta information that is available. But rem uh, remember that this is queried slightly differently in the uh, web versions. So why should you use the CQP syntax at all? Now, it is true, it is a bit more complex than the simple language, but the simple language is not that simple when you first start, so you will have to learn a query language anyway. Also, the simple syntax is much less powerful for more advanced searches, although for most introductory purposes, the simple language is probably enough. Last but not least, the CQP syntax uses ordinary regular expressions. So if you pick up some regular expressions while doing CQP and you have understood what they're good for, then you can use that knowledge when you work with other concordances such as Ankong or other programming languages. With that, have fun with CQP-based corpus linguistics.